Hello everyone, your favorite Senso Tech Jedi Lisa here with number two in this classroom management series. I guarantee as we get further into this, I'm going to forget which number I'm on. So hopefully maybe I should start writing it down. Okay. So number two, we're going to talk about the list view tools. Now the list view is going to be based off of the groups that you have been given access to, to view, whether you have a Google classroom integration, a clever integration, an Azure teams, there could be a lot of different things here in your groups for these videos. I'm trying to keep it pretty simple, but again, your portal may look slightly different than mine as well as the sites and groups that you've been given access to view as well. So you may have been given access to create your own groups. You may not. This is going to be left up to whomever is your organizational admin for Senso. So you might want to reach out to them about that. Also, we will have videos that are are in a separate playlist about Google Classroom and Chromebooks and integrations for that. So if you want to learn about that, that's going to be in another playlist. It'll be clearly marked for Google Classroom. So this is just for classroom management tools. Okay. Now that you have chosen, you know, I want to look at just this Google class, or maybe I want to look at all the devices I've given access to. There's going to be some information here in this list view window. If they are, uh, you know, bolded like this, that means that they're on Online. Also, there's going to be a status there of them being online. You're going to be able to see the users that are logged into those devices. Again, I kept my portal kind of clean and simple with not a lot of devices. So we could really clearly see everything that I want to talk about in this series. So for Chromebooks, it's going to be their email address uh, as their username. For Windows PCs, it's going to be their usernames that they log into those devices with. And if you have any devices that are offline, it will show you the last time they logged in and it will be clearly marked as offline. Um, some other options that you have here in list view is you can select all that are online or all of your devices, all your online devices, you're logged in. See, this is selecting these uh, check boxes here, which are very important. When we start talking about tools and running the tools up here at the top, these check boxes are going to be super important. So just remember that. So once you have, you know, selected which devices you can also select all from right here, or you can go around and be a little bit more selective than using this. You can use the X just to clear those selections. You also have filter members. Again, these are going to be based off of the users right here, all that are online, logged in, logged out and none. Device details. Device details is really great and you can pull up um, some information about the devices, the IP address, users, that sort of thing. Now I'm intentionally not clicking on that because I'm not real crazy about showing off the internet, my IP addresses for my devices, but just know to run that tool, you simply click there, you will click on device details and it'll give you a lot of great information. Now this is just to refresh the page. You also have the ability to search for users. So if I was simply searching for Nelson or Nelson's or the specific user, I could use that search there. I could also do that for devices. If I had multiple pages um, of information on there, again, I can toggle back and forth between those pages of devices, and then you can change the number of devices that you'd like to show in this window. Okay. So that are, that that are, listen to me, that is the list view tools. Um, go ahead and come on over with me to the next video. And we're going to jump into thumbnail tools and talk about those. I'll see you there.